So it's impossible to go a day without seeing a bad chart, graph or data visualisation. But what if I told you there's one quick and simple rule that will elevate you to a data viz master? So let me introduce you to the data ink ratio. So the data ink ratio is the proportion of ink that is used to present actual data compared to the amount of total ink or pixels used in the entire display. Or to put it simply, get rid of everything that isn't showing the data. Right, so what we're gonna do is take you through an example where we take something that has a low data to ink ratio and transform it into something that has a high data to ink ratio and you can see how we do it. So this is a chart showing the app downloads of the top 10 apps in 2020. The headline is that TikTok, not Zoom, as most people probably thought, was actually the most downloaded app in 2020. So let's increase the data to ink ratio. The best place to always start is looking at the background. So we've got this image in the background. Let's remove that. And then we've got this grey box behind that still. So let's get rid of that. The next big images that aren't really contributing are these icons. So let's remove the app icons and let's remove the key on the right hand side. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of what I call the curse of the 2000s, which is the shading, bevels, um, borders. So we don't need that. So look at the bars. We're now going to remove all the shading and the borders there. And let's get rid of those minor grid lines and let's lower the shade of the major grid lines. We don't actually need all the zeros in those figures because it's implied uh, in the titles. So let's get rid of that and let's get rid of the labels on the axes because this is also in the titles. So we'll get rid of those. And let's also minimize the description title of the chart. Let's just reduce the size of that. Next, what we can do, if we want to take it further, we can get rid of the numbers on the axis and put those within the bars to make it a bit more accurate. Now we've got a lot of colors on this chart and they were initially used to match the brand colors of each of the apps but we don't need those. They're not contributing to the data. They're not contributing to the story. So let's just get rid of all of those and just focus on the two apps that the headline is describing. The problem though, is that all the apps have been ordered in alphabetical order across the bottom, which means when we first look at it, your eye is immediately drawn to the right hand side. And on first impression, it gives the impression that it's actually TikTok, then WhatsApp, then Zoom, that were the top three most downloaded apps. Obviously, a little bit more time, you can see that that's not the case, but we can fix this very quickly by ordering them in number of downloads rather than alphabetical order. And when we do that, there's basically no need for the grid lines anymore. So let's remove those all together. And the coloring isn't relevant anymore either. So let's just keep those consistent. So straight away, we look at this, we can see that TikTok, not Zoom, was the most downloaded app in 2020. However, if you want to go data viz master and really think about what story we're trying to communicate, you can also question whether we need those bottom five apps. If the story really is only to communicate that TikTok, not Zoom, was the most popular app in 2020 and actually there were a few in between. So let's get rid of those data points. They're not contributing to the story. And that means we can also get rid of the shading so that immediately when you look at this, you look at TikTok, had 850 million app downloads. If you're in the Western world, your eye will always initially start on the left-hand side and it will tell a story as you work all the way to the right that Zoom actually is number five in that list. One of the best ways to improve your data visualization skills is to look at what else is out there, see some of the best other data visualizations. If you click on a link on your screen right now, there's a selection of some of the best data viz examples from the past year. So click on this link, have a look, and you can see how other people are using this rule.